Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. In today's video I am going to be painting a little gouache butterfly. Um, I want to apologise right from the start for the slight fuzziness that you can see. Um, I think I accidentally zoomed in on my phone and it doesn't have a very good digital zoom. Uh, so unfortunately it's a little bit fuzzy in the beginning but it does get better in a few minutes. So just hold on and uh, the quality will improve in a minute. Um, so I am making this little butterfly on um, some heavyweight Jackson's watercolour paper. It was a, a sample that I got from them. I ordered a load of different papers from them last year. This one's really nice and thick. Uh, I can't remember the exact weight but it was the 400 and something gram and it's got a really nice texture as well. Um, and it was just a little off cut so I thought it would be perfect for doing a little birthday card. And uh, I am using Holbein, Ella Holbein, I'm not really sure how you pronounce it, gouache on top of this. Um, so I started off with using, um, I'd mixed up a green, but I, in the end I decided that it was too lime green. So as you can see, I'm painting over it here. And unfortunately the um, paper was just a little bit too kind of... Um, what would you say buckley or no it didn't it wasn't buckley it just had too much texture so that the um, paint ended up seeping under the tape and uh, so it, I was hoping for a really nice crisp edge but at the end I ended up having to just trim it down and uh, yeah but it worked anyway um, but it just leaked because it was too thick I think and so after I was fairly happy with the background I was still not entirely happy with the colour I'd mixed up but um, yeah, I'm still experimenting with colour mixing at the moment um, because I've only got the primary set so uh, it's it's fun trying to make the colours that you want sometimes like you know in theory how to do it and like red and blue make purple and yellow and blue make green but at the same time trying to get all the different shades can be a bit tricky um, so it's probably still too green for my liking really but I need to play around with the colour mix mixing a bit more anyway um, the nice thing was that I didn't have to be too careful with the background because I knew that the gouache butterfly would cover over it um, because of the the trans like gouache isn't so transparent as watercolor so that's really nice um, and yeah I just found a reference on Pinterest or Pixabay I'm not quite sure Pinterest I think um, one that I quite like the details of and the colors and uh, so I just mixed up my gouache paints and painted it with that. Um, but I, what I did find was that I didn't really quite get the details that I wanted. Um, so at first when I was done with painting with the gouache, I decided to go in first with some polychromos um, and add a few details that way. But because of the texture of the card, I didn't really get the effect that I wanted. Um, doing that and uh, I was a, a bit uh, uncertain whether I should use some like blending fluids some like uh, I'm not sure what it's called OMS like you can get some blending fluids for um, color pencils I was a bit uncertain I know that the gouache is oil uh, not oil based water based but I didn't want to end up ruining what was underneath so I didn't use that to try and blend out the polychromos a bit more um, so after I had tested with my polychromos and I wasn't really that happy with it, I then decided that, oh what the heck, I'm not going to make it any worse um, if I go in with a micron pen and add some details that way. So I took a purple um, micron pen and I just went over all the... Oh, all the most or most of the details that I'd already added with the uh, colored pencils. I'm not sure that it turned out perfectly how I was wanting it to, but in the end, I was happy enough with the result that I'm posting it on the internet for everyone to see anyway. You live and you learn, um, which is usually the motto of most of my, uh, my videos, I think, uh, as this is a channel where I am trying to show you how I learn and improve. So... Most of the things that I post here, there are usually some mistakes and things in them. But there you go. So basically now you can see that I am adding in the details and just, yeah, you just end up getting that kind of coloured pencil texture, which uh, wasn't really the look I was going for. So, uh, yeah. 
And uh, after that, I then just went, when I'd taken off the tape, I went in and trimmed off the edges with my guillotine. It's not as uh, dangerous as, as it sounds. Paper trimmer maybe is a better word. I trimmed off the edges and then I actually mounted it onto a card, which you will see in a couple of minutes at the end. Um, and now I just feel like I'm kind of waffling. Um, so I am going to leave you to some music and you can... Uh, just watch the rest and yeah now my phone's going off I should have put that on silent <laughs> um yeah anyway thank you guys for watching I will see you in my next video and uh, have a great week bye